Hey guys, what is going on? This is Dom D, and today, uh, after a couple months of not really doing anything, I have another video, but uh, along those lines, I have to thank everyone who has been watching my videos and liking them. Uh, right now, I have over 70 subscribers, and I'm quickly approaching over 6,000 views on my channel, so I just wanted to say thank you f uh, to everybody who has commented, liked, subscribed, everything. Um, I never thought that this would actually catch on, but now that it has, um, in a way, uh, I decided that I should probably put more effort into it. Uh, so, finals are over, and that means you can expect more v videos from me, and uh, hopefully lots of fun stuff. I have some fun stuff planned. Uh, I don't know how I'm really going to ca make calculators fun, or, but... I'm going to figure it out. Uh, <laughs> sorry for rambling. So in any case, as you probably read in the description, this is a program for uh, the quadratic formula. So uh, I know there are others on YouTube uh, who have videos on this, but mine's a little different from theirs because mine, uh, my program does a little bit more than just give you the two values. It's not too much more, but it just goes an extra step in it. it. I think it seems a lot nicer. So, without further ado, let's get started. So here, I have one already made up. Um, I'm going to go through and write the entire code with you guys, and also have it in the description, so whichever way you like, uh, you can do, because I know some people liked when I went through it all the way. And uh, that's another thing. I like advice, or like thoughts. Um, so constructive criticism is always acceptable. So let's get started. So input A. So in the example, I'm going to use this equation here, x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Let's say you're trying to solve for that. So in this case, A is 1, B is 3, and C is negative 4. Okay? So uh, I have it worked out over here and the two solutions here, x equals negative 4 and 1. So just hit enter. All right, and this is what comes up. As you can see, x equals 1 and negative 4, but then it also has this down here, which is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 2. Um, so if you had, for instance, something that uh, didn't, um, that was not a perfect square, these two answers would not be clean cut like 1 and negative 4 and most teachers prefer that you have it in this form. So uh, that's the nice thing about it. Um, so that's why my program's a little bit different and it's a little bit better. So let's just jump right in. Uh, for those of you that don't know how uh, to make a program, you just go hit program and then go all the way over to new. Now you can name it whatever you want, so <laughs> I already have one under quad form, so I'm just going to put Z, Y, X. Seems legit. Okay, so let's get started. Go to program, scroll down until you find label, 52, hit enter. Then um, most of you already have this, but if not, you need to go to my other video and uh, get programs clear and unclear. If you don't have them, you can't write the code for this program. So I'll have a link for you in the description to go to those videos. Make those two, then come back and rewatch this video and put it in. All right. So for those of you that have it done, you scroll over to the right and select it from the list. Program clear. Then hit enter. All right. Now we're going to go program input alpha plus. Second alpha input A, and then the period down at the bottom there, and then space, so zero, and then the plus sign again, and then hit alpha, and then comma A. And you're going to do the same thing, except A is going to be B, and then C. So. Alright, so now you've just input the three variables, 
and then you're going to run program clear again. So program write to, scroll down until you find clear, hit enter, then enter. All right, and now you're going to go program if um, parentheses b squared minus parentheses 4 times a times c and parentheses and parentheses is math or second math less than 0 enter program then enter program display no so no solutions. All right, so that's another thing that's nice about this program. If uh, there is no solution, meaning the parabola does not ever touch the x-axis, it will tell you there is no solution um, or solutions. So that's what this little part does. Uh, program pause and then program go to three then program else pass it up enter all right parentheses parentheses this is the part where you're actually putting in the quadratic formula negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c and then end that with three parentheses one two three and then all divided by two times a and then end with two parentheses and store it as and then you're going to do the same thing except this is going to be a minus because plus or minus is the quadratic formula. So I'm going to speed through this part. All right, the only difference is this time you store it as E instead of D, then hit enter, then second program up. And then you'll come to text, and you want one comma one comma um, alpha plus x second math equals alpha zero alpha plus comma d, and then do the same thing except this time you're going to go eight comma one comma uh, alpha plus x equals space quotations comma e all right and then uh, you're going to go program if b is greater than zero program then b times negative one store as b and then you're going to go program go to 45 program else program label 45 and then second program text uh, 15 comma 1 comma B um, plus or er, comma alpha plus plus 
division sign, minus sign, second x squared, which is the square root symbol, alpha plus, to put the, the quotation mark in there, comma, uh, b squared, minus 4 times a times c, and then comma alpha plus and parentheses alpha plus and then end that with a parentheses and then hit enter and then you're going to go second program line and it's going to go negative 10 comma 2.9 comma negative 2.3 comma 2.9 and then put that parentheses in there just to close it off and then program second program text uh, and this is going to be uh, at 24 comma 18 comma and then you're just going to put 2a close it off hit enter and program pause and then program label 3 and then we're going to set up a menu so program and then scroll down to define menu and we're going to put in quote in uh, quotations solve another so second alpha solve another and then we're going to put comma alpha plus second alpha yes comma 52 comma no comma end it up, end it with a parentheses, and then set a label, and it's two, and then program unclear, and then stop. All right, now that should do it. Um, as with all my programs, I suggest that you uh, test them before you use them for anything serious and uh, do not use them uh, if you're not allowed. Only use it to check or when the situation is appropriate. So real quick, we'll just make sure I did that right. What did I name it? Uh, ZYX, that's it. And uh, so input A looks good. 1, 3, negative 4, and everything turned out just the way it should. Uh, so, if you have a video that you want me to do or a program that you want me to make, subscribe and send me a personal message. Um, any other ideas or suggestions uh, are welcome. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out. And, uh, be nice, share this with your friends, make their lives easier too. So, enter, solve another, no, and we can just exit. Alright guys, see you next time.